line is Simpson. Little drop pass. Deploy up to the blue line to Epp. Top of the right circle it goes. The look shot in front. Stopped by Lurg. Big rebound there, and they score. Wayne Simpson on the loose puck, and Lurg couldn't find it, and Toledo couldn't get to it either, and it's 1-0 South Carolina. That one initial shot came. There was some good defense. The puck was laying there. Not many anyone could get it, but Simpson came from out of the corner. Get a look here. Players tying everybody up, and there's the loose player, Simpson. He comes all alone. Got that puck, and his Shekaitis is down. Easy play for Wayne Simpson, former Union College star. Tyler, back at the line, is four to try. That went wide. Another shot, and somehow Lurg made the stop. Oh, are you kidding me? Jeff Lurg with a clinic here in the first. <laughs> this is the goal scorer who's going to have this in the exact same situation this is incredible folks Wayne Simpson is going to land up with this puck on his forehand again watch this come off to redirect and there's the goal scorer oh excuse me that's not that's Rowe that's Rowe right there and how does Lord get that athleticism get that glove down behind the net Mercier tied up there Simonelli comes out of the box and a centering passed up another try by Zarnalzen and Jakaitis got that. Oh, it's going to save as Lurg made a minute ago. Jakaitis just answered on Jenks. Yep, searched the line, still with it. And then fires towards the front of the net. That got deflected wide. Picked up Marnes again. Left for Birchback. He'll go across. Stasko wide. Shoots and a pad save made by Jakaitis. Back to the line. Stasko again. He scores! Joe Stasko! Oh, man, I was just about to say, we're starting to see... The Toledo defensemen get more involved. They were active. Zernausen a minute ago with a good scoring chance. Now, good play along the line. Zernau, excuse me, Stasco had a chance early, gets it back on the second chance, and my goodness, does he let a slapper go. Jakaitis can't see it. Big goal, and it's 1-1. And Joe Stasco had an assist in the game seven win he gets a goal against Jeff Jakaitis and the South Carolina Stingrays to the line Nightingale staying with him they'll try to circle it around in front was Herbert with a try stop rebound they score oh wait a minute hold on our referee Ryan Murphy well, this is the discussion here is whether yep. that puck was gloved down Hand pass, or was the glove down? Actually, close your hand on the puck to bring it down. I got two discussions here. Yep, this is uh, the four referees that are out on the ice, two refs and two linesmen, and they will talk this over. There's up in the air. Right down eventually. I think the question is, did Herbert knock it down with his glove in the air? Yes, he did. Now, does he play it? He does it's not. It's a great call. Well, it's a great call. It's a hand pass. What a wonderful job by the referees to sort that out. We couldn't even see it on the first replay. Well, Spencer Carberry doesn't agree, but Ryan Murphy was in good position. They talked about it. That replay there. They showed it. Showed it. It, it came Clear down. Day. And Devin was the first player to touch the puck as he redirected it. Let's see, here it is again. Herbert's there in front. Up in the air to watch his hand. Yep, he knocks it down, it down doesn't play else. it. Nobody well, plays it until sticks, Devin. But the next contact is Devin's to knock it in. And that is blocked up to the blue line. McKenzie goes cross site. Last 10 of the period, and he'll fire from the line of save. Rebound, they score. Michael Tchaikowski gets the goal with 3.3 seconds left. They had three power play goals and 12 chances against Toledo in the regular season. And the Stingrays power play gives them a 2-1 lead with just 3.2 seconds left in the second period. Stingray players covered that puck. And why the... Oh, okay. They're gonna, they're, they are going to bring the face off inside the zone. I thought for a second they might even bring it outside, but 
I got a timeout here. It'll be taken by Toledo and associate head coach Dan Watson. You see, is going to draw up a play for Toledo with a net empty in the end to our left at 66 seconds left. Yeah, they've, they've had a lot of these situations. They've worked on these in practice. Still has happened. A lot of most of the discussion is going to be talked about when they win the draw. Who's going to be opening themselves up for one-timers? Who's going to the net? But there'll be a discussion if they lose the draw where they're going to take away the. Uh, the clearing chance along the wall. They want to cut off the seal the wall, make sure they can create a loose puck, and then everything after that is going to be a lot about how to get the puck to the net. Make sure two or three players are always around Jeff Dakitis in a stingray goal. Face off will be to the left of that South Carolina net. Let's see who Toledo sets out here, Scott. It's going to be Troy Schwab, Martin Ferg, Tyler Barnes, Shane Bershback, Scott Zarnhausen, and Shane Sims. Yeah, and watch here. It's got Barnes, Barnes and Ferg on that side. The guys are going to look for one-timers if we win this draw. Schwab on the draw. Puck laid in the circle. Picked up by Bershback. Up to the line. Sims back to Bershback. Just outside the right circle. Played it down into the corner. It's intercepted and chipped all the way down the ice. That'll be an icing call against South Carolina with 53 seconds left to go. So Toledo will get another offensive zone chance. They are. It's on the same side of the ice. So again, they're looking for this clean draw. Watch Barnes and watch Burke. There may be a little bit of a seal here. Barnes through and watch Burke drop off for the one time. And it comes to the line. There he goes. Sims across to Zarnows that faked the shot. Gives way to Burschback and then to Sims. Sims tipped in front, and it got deflected. Down into the corner, Sims again. Over to Ferg, up to the line. Zarnowson, back to Ferg. He couldn't pull the trigger on the shot. He wants it, though. He's got to go to Zarnowson again. Off to Bershback. At the line, Sims a shot, and that deflected just wide. Picked up Bershback. Skips to Zarnowson. Down low to Ferg. 20 seconds left to go. Ferg looking at the line to Sims. Down low, Bershback. Wanting to throw it in front, he does to Ferk, a shot, save made, rebound was there, and it's tipped away. Up to the line to Sims, across, Ferk, a one-timer stop, backhander by Bershback, and the save was made. Jakaitis, another try in front, where is it? It skips to the near side wall, they blew the whistle, I thought. Hold on, they blew the whistle, but no, South Carolina is coming out to congratulate Jeff Jakaitis, a mad flurry at the end of this one. Now the linesmen are talking about it too, but I guess the game has come to a close. I thought they blew the whistle a little bit early. But Toledo falling here in regulation 2-1 to one in game one to the South Carolina Stingrays. Yep, the Toledo Walleye falling in game one, two to one. What a game, a tremendous finish. What chances there at the end for the Walleye. They nearly tied it a number of times, but not to be tonight here in game one as South Carolina takes Toledo down two to one. And the road team continues to be dominant. The season series, it was that way with the road team winning every.